Hello, bonjour, comment ça va? And welcome back to my channel. My name is Lazius K, where I talk about the practical usage of VR. In today's season one, episode seven. Woo! Seven episodes, pretty cool. Thank you very much for watching. We're going to talk about VR media players that you can play with other people with you completely immersed in VR. But before we do that, let's roll the intro. Let's go. Remember to like and subscribe, share some love to this channel so that it'll get more promoted and more people will get to see it. So today I'm going to show you, there's actually two VR uh, players you can use in the Oculus Go where you can invite other people to cross collaborate with, but I'm going to focus on one and do a separate video because they can be quite lengthy otherwise. So today we're going to focus on big screen. Right now, let's go into the Oculus Go. All right, so before we start and go into the Oculus, there is something that we need to do, which is to download Steam. That's right. Uh, this app called Big Screen, which enables you to view your uh, content with other people in a room, needs to be downloaded on the PC as well as on the Oculus. And you will be able to get it from the Steam store. Now, this app is completely free, by the way. So what you do is you create an account within Steam and then after that, uh, you will download Steam. So for example, Steam download, it will be here. And then you just install it uh, onto your PC or your Mac. Um, it's pretty straightforward, so no need for me to show you how to do that. And then all you do is you go into the search box and type big screen, screen beta. And then it will appear here okay so big screen beta and it is free so after you find it just download the oculus version and once you've done that it will be installed on your computer all right okay so now we're in the inside the oculus i'm going to show you this really cool app here called big screen beta which enables you to actually view content with collaborators it's absolutely amazing you can create your own room and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. Okay, let's go into it. So now we're in a side of virtual theater, which is pretty, pretty awesome. It's very bizarre to imagine that an app that's meant for people to meet together and watch movies in a big theater actually has so much usage for productivity. So you can see on the big screen there, they're showing like a demo to show that you can actually meet with people from the general public. But I'll do a separate video on this and you can also create your own private rooms with your own private people which is what we're going to focus on today so on the left hand side you have join the lobby where you can go and meet people and chat with them and on the right hand side you can go to open rooms which are made public and meet people and chat with them over there as well in different kind of environments okay so we're going to focus on create your own room for today so the first thing is you choose a room so there are up to four rooms three rooms here the cinema the big campfire the void which is all black the campfire is like a forest and view all so we're going to go view all there's also a grand theater which is pretty cool like a private room of a theater and also big back big balcony a big a uh, big apartment sorry balcony you know all types of other different environments like a bedroom a campfire which is a smaller campfire uh, different rooms kitchen so we're going to go to a private condo in the living room okay so the first thing we want to do is to change the privacy here you can put your name, a description of the room and the category. So let's put productivity and you must change the privacy. Very important. You can invite up to four people for private rooms and also public rooms. It might uh, actually this may depend on which room you're doing, but I think it is four for most of uh, the rooms at this moment. So we will put on private only so we can send an invitation and then you press save. OK, the next step is quite simple. You just click on remote desktop which is the client we've been using on the PC uh, to, to stream uh, big screen. Okay, so what will happen is you'll be given a room, uh, a room code here that you can send to people who you want to invite to this specific room. So now we're gonna go into the PC. Okay, so now what we want to do is we wanna open our Steam program 
and then click play for a big screen. When this pop-up happens, please make sure you click on play remote desktop. Extremely, extremely important. Do not click the other two, it will not work. So here, and then click on play. I can close this, I can close this. And now what's loading is the big screen uh, desktop client. So you see here, we can put the room ID. So we're gonna go back into the Oculus. So the Oculus uh, number, if we look at here is IRC. 8LEQ7. So let's put this in the PC. So I I R C 8LEQ7. And then what we do is uh, first we choose a resolution. 720 is more than enough. Uh, refresh audio is okay, it's fine. Make sure that you did install the drivers uh, for the for the for the audio before and then click continue and then connect. Boom, that's it, we're connected. It's a Lesus Room 001. And you'll know this because something just happened behind me, which is this here, this came up, okay? So this is our PC screen. Now, before we look at this, let's change some settings. So I just click on the, with the thumb. So we go here into settings. And the first thing I wanna do is, uh, okay, you show floating names, yes, because when we look at someone, we want their names to show uh, on top of their head. And then show NSFW means that if any content is for mature audience, uh, people who invite in the room will have to click, yes, I'm above 18 years old. Okay, uh, so the other thing we do is graphics and quality. Low sampling, try to keep it low if you can. Uh, you can put it at default, but we'll keep it to low because it will save... Uh, internet uh, speed okay let's just put it to low okay and then clear all drawings okay this i'll tell you in a minute anti-aliasing put on not on yes because otherwise everything is jaggered and it's quite hard to see so block others from drawing basically if you have another type of headset you can draw inside the rooms but they can't the people cannot clear their own drawing so you have to click on clear yourself and then there are tutorials uh, that teach you how to do certain things. So let's just exit the tutorial. Okay. And then finally, uh, avatar. So you can create your own avatar. Hi there, this is me. <laughs> and uh, you can choose the glasses, the lips, the brow, the brows, the eye shape, the beard, the shirt, the color, everything you want, no problem. Okay, then finally my room with the three people icon there. Uh, this will show in here, social, the people that are here. So you can kick them out, uh, you can mute them, you know, do whatever you you want, okay? And you can also uh, hide the monitor or show it on the big screen. I'll show you how to do that. So by clicking here, it will show there. Uh, okay, click back. Let's get rid of this. So to show on the big screen from here, uh, you just click on this here. There we go. Uh, if you have 3D glasses on, you can opt to have the 3D here. You can adjust the curvature. You can put it further away. You can reposition it anywhere you want. It's pretty cool. And you can make it larger or smaller. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Oh, it's gone. So you cannot use your Go remote, this remote here. You cannot use it uh, to do anything. Only the host can have access to the big screen. Uh, and uh, basically this is my PC. So. If I go to my PC, everything is pretty much live right now. It's uh, streaming uh, pretty, pretty fast. I go to YouTube. Okay. I search for Lazius. So Lazius here. Okay. I go to my channel. And uh, let's watch uh, this video here. Let me pause it. Let me uh, unhook the, the head jack from my PC. There we go. And you can really hear the sound. So this is fantastic. And uh, okay, so what you do is, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Okay, 
So this video, by the way, is uh, the world's first creative talks using holographic technology, uh, which was a collaboration with the Rick Garson, the, uh, pre the creator of the Billboard Music Awards and also the previous executive producer of the Billboard Music Awards. So that's him there. His name is Rick Garson. Uh, and basically, we uh, principals of the team who worked on this project uh, also worked on the Michael Jackson 2014 Billboard Music Awards Revival Hologram. Uh, so that is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. is a 3D image and it's all smoke and mirrors let's say you know a lot of people put things on the ground like LED to do the effect of a holographic figure but you know that's not a true true is uh, you know the foil and reflection and we're just you know mastering that technique so this is an interview that uh, he was doing with uh, the China Daily which is basically CNN's version of in China. So that's me there. This is action time. So try to see who is the, which one's the real hologram and which one is not the real one. It's, uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, you, you really would not be able to tell uh, which one is the hologram and which one isn't. Uh, we did a lot of performances. We had talks. Uh, we had um, a lot of international people, quite famous people uh, in China who were there. I'll put the link in the description below. You can also go to my website. The project is actually there and showcases uh, all the speakers to lesbiusk.com. So uh, the other thing that you can do in the room is if you hold and touch your the touchpad with your thumb, uh, you can mouse over the different diamonds there and you can change seats, okay? Just like so. Like that, okay? So it, this is really cool because if you have other collaborators with you, you guys can, you know, you can really tell how big the screen is. Uh, you can do changes on the spot together. I mean, the host can make the changes on the spot. So for example, if I was working with my video editor right now and he had a headset, I could invite him or he could invite me to this room by creating the room and they can make the changes on the spot. I could see them, we could work together in a real immersed way. So this is really, really awesome. I'm really happy about this. I'll do a separate video to show you the social networking aspect. And also there's another app, which is equally very cool that I'll do in a separate video. Okay, so in this video, we saw big screen app inside the Oculus Go, which allows you to watch VR media with other people. How cool is that? Come on. And then next week, I'll show you another app, which is equally insane, uh, allowing you to cross collaborate with other people and watch media together within the immersed space. Please like and subscribe, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know if this video helped you at all or there are other apps that you use. And remember to click the bell notification because we're also going to leave the studio and do some really fantastic content interviewing some really cool guys too. All right, until next time, take it easy. DJ, cue music. Whoosh.